The shift from summer to fall largely signals the end of the season at the MLS level, but for academy teams, it actually marks the start of a new year and the promise of a bright future. The 2024-25 MLS Next season, which kicked off earlier in September, has brought with it a bit of minor change as well, with the Revolution now fielding teams at the under-18 and under-16 levels to go along with their squads at the under-15, under-14, and under-13 age groups. Yeah, so for us, um, even though there was a change in the 16s, 18s, instead of 17, 19s, because we had a 19s age group here, it, not much has changed for us. The pathway that we have for the players is very similar. Uh, we just had to realign a little bit on the age group, but it wasn't that big of an adjustment for us because we were already set up with part of that by having a 19 age group. One tweak that did come along with the shifting age groups was a change in coaching assignments, including Brad Knighton taking over the under 15s after a remarkably successful run with the Revolution's under 19 team. They're like sponges. I mean, uh, they they follow everything what you say to a fault. Uh, sometimes, right, wrong, or indifferent, they're going to do what you say. And so, um, maybe that sometimes wasn't the case with the with the older kids um, that tend to think they know it all. But um, no. But I, I think the way the academy set up now, these kids are in a position to be successful at a younger age. And so now you're seeing that through a lot of next pro teams that are starting. 14-year-olds and 15-year-olds and 16-year-olds, and these kids are getting opportunities at a higher level that never was really attainable um, in 10 or 15 years ago. And so that's a testament to MLS. That's a testament to every every MLS team's academy um, on how they structure, um, you know, their their youth development. Um, but here for us at our at our pro player pathway, uh, for kids to get opportunities within our second team and now move on to our first team, it, it's really coming to fruition here. And now we're seeing more and more year after year. At the under-19 level, Knighton worked extensively with players like 16-year-old Peyton Miller, now getting consistent minutes with the Revolution's first team, and 17-year-old Eric Klein, who recently signed his first professional contract with Revolution 2. These kids getting the experience day in and day out to continue to train at a high level, um, you know, in the mornings. and. You know, you still see them come out to training as well. Um, some of these, Peyton is out at the U16 trainings. He's out at the under 15 trainings. He's still a kid and it's awesome to see that these kids, once they've made it to, you know, first team football, that they're still able to come back and, and be part of the, the collective group with the academy. No, I think it's great. I mean, I think it shows that the, the time and effort that, you know, Rob and his staff, you know, Kurt, when he came, that we put into the, to the academy, it's, it's, coming, like you said, fruitful right now, and it's very encouraging um, to see these guys do not only really, really well in the academy, but then progress to the second team and some of them to the first team, and I think there'll be more coming, uh, coming through in the next couple of years. While both Roy and Knighton are supremely confident that the academy will be producing more first team players for the Reds in the near future, Roy said it's important that every player's development happens at the proper pace. We try not to fast track them too fast, uh, but once we see that there's one in the younger age group in the academy that is starting to progress and maybe, maybe outgrow his age group, uh, we try to bring him up to the second team and see how they do with the older players, you know, and at the same time continue playing games in the academy, but kind of giving them a taste of what the professional level is and see how they react, you know, physically, mentally, tactically. Uh, and, and I think, you know, there'll be, there'll, there'll, there'll be a couple more coming through in the next couple of years. It's great, you know, being able to um, see these kids continue to develop younger and younger and hopefully make that stride um, from academy to the second team to the first team. But the objectives from the, from the group from the start is just to continue to get 1% better every single day. Um, come ready to work, come ready to compete. Um, and hopefully at the end of the season, we've put together a, a really good profile of, of who we wanted to be collectively as a club.